Hi, this is Mauricio for cloudbackuping.com. Many people ask me, Mauricio, I know you're an avid Mac user, but I'll have to work with Windows. Is there an option for me to get Time Machine-like backups for my Windows computer? Well, yes, there is. However, there is no native built-in feature in Microsoft Windows, but there is third-party software for that purpose. In this video, I'll have a look at Genie Timeline Home. It is not a free software, but you can get a free trial from their website. If you'd like to know more about it, stay tuned for a step-by-step -step walkthrough that'll help you get started. Okay, so as I said, we are going to use Jenny Timeline Home and I downloaded a trial from their website. So the software costs around, well, $40, well, it's 35 euros. I'm not quite sure what this is in, in dollars right now, but it could be that it's around $50 or something like that. So it is pretty easy to use. After installing the software, you're going to find yourself with the setup wizard and it is literally only three steps away from your first backup. So before we actually going to start, uh, we connect the external hard drive to our machine and then we're going to select uh, step number one, which is selecting the backup device, the external hard drive that we were just uh, connecting. So just click on step number one and here you have the option to select uh, the hard drives. Now I'm working on a virtual machine so I really have to go dig a little deeper and select the backup destination that I want to back up to. But if you have connected a, an external hard drive to your Windows machine it should appear right there on the available drives section. So I'm going to select the iMac backup uh, external hard drive and now that we have selected it, we can uh, click on uh, the bottom right corner on the arrow and we are now in the backup selection and the smart selection works pretty well because it selects all the important documents that you might have on your PC and also makes a disaster recovery partition which um, allows you to restore your uh, PC entirely in case of a crash. But we want to go into my computer and uh, select here um, the uh, local disk C to back up. So you can really go in and uh, choose and mold the backup um, as you wish and back up the files that you only need to back up. So after selecting the local disk C, uh, we can hit again on the arrow at the bottom right corner. And in the next step, we can uh, set some backup options or one backup option, which is the uh, compression enabling. But I'm not going to do that here for the purposes of the video. So now backup is configured and it should start automatically. So now uh, you can see that after uh, this congratulations uh, window is done you can just click on next and there you can see how much is actually uh, being processed so we're going to pause the video here and just come back when uh, the backup is done so while the backup is running i thought i might i just might go into the preferences and see how we can customize our backup so uh, we could enable file uh, retention options uh, for example if we enabled that we could limit the backup size for example if we are um, if we're really short on space or we could delete file versions that are older than 30 days but i really uh, recommend not activating that because you might want uh, to recover a file uh, older than that so uh, be aware of of this option and I would not uh, select it if you don't know what you're actually doing so you could enable the game mode or video mode which might be useful for the one or the other uh, if you have a slow machine or if you have a really resource hungry game that you're playing right now so you could disable uh, backups while running um, while running the game so the overall experience is going to be improved Another feature that might be useful is the backup scheduling. So you could use the Genie Timelines Intelli CDP, nice marketing term, by the way, and uh, that allows you to backup files uh, or that, that detects uh, changes of the files and backs them up intelligently. Or you could say, hey, I want to run the backup in an interval of uh, 30 minutes for example and here you can already see that there are a few more customizations possible than with time machine here so a time machine runs every hour but here you can uh, lower that threshold even further and doing more backups also you can set up email notifications which i really like so i can uh, if i'm on vacation for example and i can always be notified if my backups have failed for example or if uh, my backups have been successful and um you can configure that 
that with the SMTP with your SMTP account and have uh, Ginny Timeline send you some emails. And there's also a mobile version that lets you. Um, organize and manage and overview your um your whole backup and as i said in other videos before uh your whole backup is not worth anything if your restore doesn't work so restoring is the important part of the backup process so um Gini timeline pro mimics here a little bit the time uh, machine feature so whenever you want to restore a file you can you have the timeline at the top of the explorer and if we had now multiple backups in various points in time we could go back and restore those files easily so all in all it works pretty well i did and it offers a couple more features than Time Machine, but obviously it is a paid app, so you would kind of expect to have a little more flexibility with it. But uh, it works pretty well. Uh, it restored the files that I backed up correctly, and uh, well, I think it is a valid alternative to uh, Time Machine on Windows PC. So um, I really hope I could help you with this video, and if you liked it, please share it on your social networks or link to it on your website to help other people find out out about it. This is Mauricio Prinzlau for cloudbackuping.com signing off.